This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it, hopefully you're all right. We are in Aylesbury currently, uh, just about to get this uh, load of bolt bags taken off. So we've got 25 bolt bags. I've taken the straps off. I'm just about to take the net off as well. I'm going to jump up and do that. Um, get this delivered. We're in the Lords in Aylesbury. And then, rumour has it, we need to go to Basingstoke, get loaded with some toilets, um, and then do a quick tip to Windsor. Um, I think it's a car park near Windsor Castle uh, for the King's Coronation, because today's Friday, King's Coronation is tomorrow. So we need to put that in quickly, apparently. That's the rumor. I haven't actually been told this yet, but that's the rumor. Okay, pull the net off. That's done. Net is now taken off. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get a pole now. We're just gonna lift up all the ears, as I call them, so then they can take them off easier. If you are seeing this, we are definitely going to Windsor. I am just waiting for confirmation from my boss. Uh, basically, I was told whoever finishes first will be going to Windsor. Pretty sure I'm gonna be finishing first. <laughs> so that is why I know in advance, but my boss hasn't actually told me uh, directly yet. But if you're seeing this, we are going to Windsor because that's why I'm doing this video. Just Windsor. Anyway. Right, we've just moved into a different part of the yard, ready to be unloaded. We've got our, our stick now, so start getting uh, the loops ready. Just like so. And um, we have now had final confirmation we are in fact doing the Windsor run so we need to hit this go to Basingstoke and then um, go to Windsor Castle that is what I've been told to do next on a Friday nice <laughs> yeah I just phoned the guy we were uh, picking up the toilets from in Basingstoke he's not actually there I can't remember where he said he was now I think he said was it Croydon I don't know he was somewhere uh, and he's going to be a couple of hours before he even gets to Basingstoke so uh, yeah I've had to make a phone call and just sort of convey a time we'll both be there but I think I'm gonna be there a bit earlier than him so we'll be waiting okay we are tipped we just need to get out of here uh, it's gonna be a little bit tight but we should be all right we've got to maneuver ourselves so we can do a spinneroonie in this little square bit that we're in I'm not allowed to go out this way. <laughs> apparently, they have they get funny if you go out this way. Apparently, mm -hmm. oh, it's a bit snug though. Right, let's cut this corner as tight as we can. <laughs> the bolt bags are just delivered right on the corner. We cut that as tight as we can and then spin around here. Yeah, should be good. Should be good. Yeah, boy. So, yeah, we just finished tipping here. The forklift driver that unloaded me, his name is Shaquille. We are in Lords in Aylesbury. Forklift driver Shaquille. He is amazing. Uh, very positive outlook on life. Um, and he said a lot of things that resonated with me about being kind to other people. 
and uh, yeah, he is an awesome bloke. He's he's just there, little on the left. He's uh, a great bloke. So if anyone from Lords is um, watching this, good. Uh, he's a good representative of your company. Just saying, we want to keep him. Anyway. We are now going to head to Basingstoke, where we're going to get loaded with the toilets. Wait, I think it's going to be like the white pods that we normally carry. It could be tanks, I'm not sure, as in like black tanks where the sewage goes, basically. Uh, but I, if I were to guess, I would say it's going to be the white pods, not, not the uh, green port loops. That's my guess anyway, so. Yes. We're... Um, gonna head there now I'll uh, I need to make a phone call just to let them know that I'm only just leaving my job um, and that we should be there for about half past one so I'm gonna go I will see you just as we're arriving in Basingstoke I'll see you in a bit okay we are just around the corner pretty much from where we need to get loaded I did send the guy a message to say we'd be there for about half past one he, he replied with a thumbs up it's uh it's 20 past one right now. By the time we get there, um, it's going to be just before 25 past. So we have turned up a little bit early. Hopefully he's there ready to go. That'd be nice. Um, probably going to lose the bet, but I've got, a <laughs> I've got a bet on with a friend that I'll be back in the yard by five. Um, I'm starting to doubt that's going to be true. That's on the assumption that we go straight back to the yard as well. Um, we might actually have to go get loaded somewhere else first. Yeah, we'll have to see. But... Um, if it's a case of tipping this in Windsor, there is a small chance we get back by five. And I've bet, I've bet Kev T that um, if I make it there, well, I bet him that I will make it there. And if I win, he owes me a beer <laughs> at Devon Truck Show. And um, if I lose, I owe him a beer. And I think, look at it, I'm probably gonna lose, but it's just a bit of a fun bet. <laughs> so if we can make it back by five, that would be nice. But no biggie if we don't. So, um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure where it is in Windsor we are delivering. The boss has said Windsor Castle. I don't think it's actually at the castle itself. I think we're past the castle and there's like a main road. And I do remember we did something a while back in Windsor. And I got a funny feeling it's going to be that car park there. It's just started to rain, isn't it? All day today, it's started to rain whenever I turn up. But yeah, I think, um, I can't remember what the road name is. I think it's like the A3229 maybe. That might be wrong, don't quote me on that. But I think it's just off the main road, there's like a car park, and I think we are tipping in there. But I might be wrong. Uh, the guy who's loading us, he does know where it is, so he's gonna show me on the map where it is we are delivering to once we uh, once we get there and get loaded. Okay, start indicating, because we will be turning right soon. There is a lorry behind us, so we wanna let him know we are turning. Can we make it before that van? I think we can. It's all clear. Yeah, we can make that quickly. Let's get off the road, and then we're not holding anyone up then for any longer than we need to. Let's flash that car down. Okay, the car's not coming down. Not to worry. I did flash. <laughs> And then we shall turn up here. This is where we shall be getting loaded. Reverse it on back like so. Lovely. That's us. Right, let's go get loaded, strapped up, find out where we're dropping it off, and uh, then we can make our way there. I bloody told you, like, it's starting to rain. Just turned up as well. Looks a little bit dark over there, but it's weird because it's like it's still sunny but raining. It's a bit weird. <laughs> okay, that first one going on. Nice. 
just getting straps ready so we can uh, strap it up. We'll only need three or uh, six straps. We've got two of them going on and, uh, and a black tank we've got on the back. So it's going to get the uh, ratchets now for the tank on the back. Throw these straps over. them up and make sure these are nice and tidy so they don't uh, flap around in the wind. Got some banging going on. Shooting off that sofa, no? That's done up. Right, we're loaded. We've got the black tank on, two straps there, and then we've got these two pods that are on there as well. Two straps. So yeah, six straps in total. We are going to the place that I uh, guest we'd be going to. Um, he's also going as well. I think, I think they just need to load something up or something, but I'm, I'm going to crack on in a sec because I'll be slower. They can go a quicker way. But uh, yeah, good to go. That's what we got on board. Okay, we're loaded. Oh, there's a lorry coming up. That could be good timing. If they're coming in here. I don't think they're coming in here. I leave. I literally had two bars of ad blue before I got here, and now it's on zero. I think it's because we're on a downhill. We are low on ad blue, but we're not empty. Literally had two just now. Say bye to Phil. Phil's going to meet us there in a little while. He's actually going to be offloading us. So, um, yeah, he won't be too long. He's got to put a couple of things on. And then um, he's going to be driving up in the in the little van that he's in with a trailer on, so it'll be a lot quicker than me. Uh, but we probably will be waiting for 15 minutes or so in the lay-by when we get there. So we're just hang fire. What are these cars doing? Righty ho. We are out of here. We've got to make a right hand turn. Hopefully, we can make it. This road can get a little bit busy. Should be alright. It's quite busy though, to the right. Yeah, getting out could be awkward. We'll see. Got a lorry coming on the left. We go, we can make that. A little bit, a little bit snug, but we made it. <laughs> we made it. Otherwise, we could be waiting for ages. I mean, it's clear now this way, but there's loads of cars going the other way. Gotta, gotta bully yourself out sometimes. You got to, otherwise, you're gonna get nowhere. Um, so, yeah, we are going to the place. All he told me was that we we're going to Windsor, and I just had a little look, and he said it was a car park. There's a few car parks in Windsor. In fact, me and the wife and kids went to one not too long ago. We went to Windsor Castle and they had like a fun fair and all sorts at a car park. Um, but I just had a look and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm sure I've been to that one before. So I pinpointed it on the sat nav and got it ready to go. And it is the exact one we are going to. So, um, yeah, we're going to, it's like a lay-by. And then um, on the left of the lay-by, there's like a big old field. And we're just going into that field. So that is what we're doing. That noise, by the way, if you've not heard that before, is just where I went slightly over the line um, without indicating. So that's what that noise was. It wasn't me farting. <laughs> so we are going to be there for just before three o'clock. There should be, there should be trackway on the field, otherwise we're going to get stuck. So there should be trackways because um, obviously it's been raining today. It don't take long to get there offloaded. I mean, he put all this on in like 10 minutes tops and then we spent 20 minutes talking. Um, <laughs> so it don't take long to get it put on. It won't take long to get it taken off either. So hopefully we'll be out of there by half past three. That's what I'm hoping. And then uh, we'll find out what we're doing from there. But I'm going to guess it's going to be back to the yard. But could be wrong. Could be wrong. We'll have to see on that one. But yes. Anyway, let's crack on to Windsor. We'll be there in about an hour's time. See you in a bit.
Just want to give a quick shout out to the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. It is a book absolutely rammed with information regarding anything HGV related. Everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Okay, we just got off the M4. Um, about to head into Windsor now. Thought I'd do a little bit more driving. Uh, get it on camera. So we're gonna film the way in. We've got a car going on the left-hand side, which was just behind me. Uh, he's coming off. Just keeping an eye on cars, make sure everyone's staying in their lanes and that I don't hit them. Unfortunately, trucks are very large and there's no way we can stay in lanes all the time without part of the vehicle protruding into someone else's lane. There's just no way. So you've just got to be vigilant and keep an eye on the vehicles. Make sure that when you are going into their lane that they're aware you're going into their lane and give them space, basically. Lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly. Yeah, so I don't think... I don't think we're going to see Windsor Castle, not unless it's on the hill somewhere that we can see from here. I was, uh, part of me was hoping, because I was told we were going to Windsor Castle. So I thought we were delivering to Windsor Castle, but it's not, it's just Windsor. Um, so then I was hoping we were going to go past Windsor Castle, but we're not even going to pass it. We will pass it, but not close enough that you're going to see it, I don't think. But, actually there it is, I see it. I see Windsor Castle over there. You probably can't see it on camera. But I can see it. If I can get another clear shot, I will uh, I'll show you. I've been to Windsor Castle with the wife and kids. Um, yeah, good day out if you're interested in that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, if you're interested in history and castles and things like that, it's, uh, it is actually pretty interesting, to be fair. So definitely recommend you go and have a look. Um, that was a few years ago now we went. And of course, Queen Elizabeth is now uh, laid to rest there as well, isn't she? So, uh, yeah. Yeah, if I put the camera like that, you might see it. I don't think you will. It's just above the tree line. So, uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to see it. <laughs> That's someone putting their thumb up at me. They know me. <laughs> that or I've upset them. <laughs> he was putting his thumb up and he had his beacons on. Ooh. That is a loud bike. Definitely doing the speed limit. <laughs> His top was coming off as well. It's a very warm day today. It's 20 degrees. That is a warm day. It's an oh, look, fountain. Warm day. So I guess these signs are something to do with where we're going. Um, from what I can tell, it's like a fan zone, big screen sort of thing, where people can watch the coronation, I believe. Obviously Windsor is, um, is Windsor royal? It, of course it is, of course it is, Stup stupid question. It's a royal, it's a royal town, surely. It must be. <laughs> must be. watching this van on my left side. I do want to get over, but he's uh, still on my left side. Here we go. We can get over to the left now. Yeah, I can see um, the Windsor Castle just over there. I can see it. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry you can't see it. I can. <laughs> sun's gone now. One minute it's sunny, next it isn't. Then it's raining, then it's raining and sunny. Climate change, everybody. That's climate change for you. Oh, we've got some British flags out. Go on, RAC, here you go. Man, this is narrow. We've got to be in the right-hand side just to go right. We'll make sure that no one's coming down here. That's a little bit narrow, that bit. I had to be on the left-hand side lane to make that, so I had to indicate to let the vehicles behind me know that I was going right. Windsor Castle is on the left, so we ain't going to see it. Not on camera, I don't think. Yep, 
Lovely job, Lee. We got a police car behind us. I am still indicating police officer. I need both lanes to make the turn. Lovely Dublin, police officer's behind me, is he following me? No, he's not, he's going off to the right. I was making that right turn and the police officer almost sort of darted down the inside of me, I was still indicating. <laughs> Right, so we are just down here on the left. Uh, yeah, I've definitely delivered down here somewhere before. Where we're going to now, I don't think is the place that we delivered to last time, but it's definitely down here that I went to. I'm pretty sure it is. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Well, that is some posh houses with big old gates. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you see like marquees and whatnot over there on the left. That is where we're going. Start indicating left. Might need the other side of the road to make the turn. Not sure yet. Yeah, we do. We do need the other side of the road to make this. Let's see what they want. Hi there. Yeah, Brian. Yeah, you're, uh, PTR, they're, they're behind me by about 10 minutes. They said go down there and wait. Okay. All right, mate? Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Lovely. Because um, he said that we're going in a gate down here on the left, not that one there. So, um, good place to park up for the night, I guess. If, uh, is it even open? It's probably not open all the time. Um, should, where should I wait? I should probably wait here, shouldn't I? I should probably wait in one of these wider bits, but I'd rather get closer down, if I'm honest. Should be wide enough. Yeah, I'm going to wait here. It's wide enough for another lorry to get past me here. So, um, we'll be good. Yeah, loads of room. I'm all the way over on the left. We want to turn left there, apparently, into that gate. So I'm going to go and have a little wander down, make sure I can make it, because uh, there is cones there. All looks good. Just going to have a little wander. Yeah, so we just parked there, look. There's enough room for other lorries to get past me. Let's go and have a wander, make sure we can make this left turn. Pretty sure we can. Okay, I'll be honest, it is a little bit snug. Front gate post being there. We should make it. I might move a couple of these cones though. We do need to be on this grass to make that nice wide turn. Oh yeah, 100% we've got to move a couple of these cones. Just move that one and that one would be good. The thing, right, just because I'm wearing a high vis, I can get rid of doing stuff like this. <laughs> I look like I belong. <laughs> if you just, uh, just move them, it gives me plenty of room now to spin around. If you just move them, no one's going to say anything. <laughs> right. We've just been told by that bloke over there to come on in. He said he's expecting what we've got. I said, well, they told me to wait out here until they come. I said, they should only be like 15, 20 minutes. He said, ah, oh, it's up to you, mate. He goes, I know where, where they're offloading you. So I just sort of said, well, if you know where they're offloading me, then I'll come on in, innit? So that's what we're doing. Bloody hell, it is nice and wide turn. That is a tight turn.
Lovely. Where'd he go? That's the problem. He's zipped off. <laughs> I don't know where he's gone. Oh, there he is. I think they want some cars moved, probably, do they? Just move those vehicles. Because I had forgotten they were there when I told you to come in. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to take you around there. If yeah. You, when you turn left, uh -huh. stay over, over to the left. Yeah. And then you can be offloaded. Okay. There. We have got some thoughts coming up from our other site. And then to turn round? Uh, that'd be easy because all you'll do is just go, you can either back down where those two cars are. Yeah, probably do that. And then just pull out. Yeah, sweet. Fantastic. Thank and you, mate. Easy okay. enough. You're right. Yeah, not bad, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. I need to locate them. Well. Yeah. <laughs> They're very friendly here. <laughs> Both of them come up to me and they were like, uh, Introducing themselves by names and how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, mate. So yeah, there's a uh, mark here and everything. I don't, I don't see any big screens though. Maybe it's not what I thought it was. I'll, I will ask, see what it, what the crack is. Oh, just found out after this, it's straight back to the yard. You had a good trip, mate. Hello. You had a good trip, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you? I'm all right. I think. I've got a, uh, I've got a bet on with a mate that I'm going to get back to the yard for five o'clock. So if I can get in and out in 15, that'd be great. I've only got three lifts, mate. You've got yeah. to five minutes. Once the fault lift turn up, you're all right. He owes me a beer if I get back in time. Hello, Gary. Yeah. No, I've had to order one for the next one. Yeah, yeah, I know. Take the phone that way. Uh, we've got four lifts in. Give it to me. So I'm just going to pull down there on the left, Phil. That's where he said oh, to go. Go around that side and I'll just whip it straight off. Yeah, he said stick to the left. Yeah. And then we'll go from there. Oh, shut up. Thank you. Okay, right. <laughs> Thank you. Right, turn left around here and stick to the left. I'm still not 100% sure what is going on here. Could it be horse racing? Potentially? I do not know. Stick to the left. The sun is reflecting off of the uh, off the floor. Yeah, you don't want to be on the grass here. You get stuck on the grass, which is bad news because that's a pretty tight turn. But I think that I do nicely. Right, let's get these straps off. See in a bit. Yes. So the Royal Windsor Endurance. Done a quick Google. It's a it's a horse thing. Oh, we're on the red carpet. We are on the red carpet. Um, yeah, got a few posh buildings in here, look. But yeah, I think it's some sort of hall show, pretty sure. Maybe they got some like velvet chairs in there, look. Anyway, let's get off the red carpet, I feel like I'm intruding. <laughs> We're just waiting for a forklift to come. We're here, we're unstrapped, we're ready to go. Um, but there's no forklift on site. Apparently it's being driven over here from um, from Windsor Castle itself. So, uh, yeah. We've just got to sit tight now. There's hardly anyone here. Just sit tight until, uh, until the forklift comes. Here's how soggy the grass is. We definitely don't want to be putting any tyres 
on the grass. Maybe the trailer tire will be alright, just to cut that corner, but that uh, that tire will be cutting the corner to get around, I think. But uh, apart from that, we shan't be going on the grass too much, especially with those drive axles. We will get stuck. Okay, forklift has arrived. We got here. Uh, we got over just over. We got here. I can't get my words out. <laughs> we got here just over an hour ago, pretty much. It's now twenty past four in the afternoon. Um, the forklift is now here. Apparently, I had to get here, drive here from Windsor or something, from the castle. It is now here. Um, we can take my high vis off. Do we all right? We're not getting out the high vis anymore. Do we need to go back? We need to go back a little bit. We've got one more to come off. One more to come off. That's going to come off now. And then we are going to Foxtrot Oscar. Foxtrot Oscar out of here is what we're going to do. Come on, mate. Take the last one off. We are in drive. We are ready to go. <laughs> it's 20 past four. I want to, we're going to get caught in traffic, I think, on the way. Let's quickly put traffic on, actually. There's no hotspot, Wi Fi. Connected. So. See you later, mate. Right, we're out of here. Let's get out of here. Where's this little forklift going? He's waiting for me, okay. Do not drive on the grass. We will sink. It is incredibly soft. Cheers, mate. Right, uh, it's a one-way system car park, so we have to turn the left out of here. We come in from the right. Cheers, mate. So we have to go left out of this bit, and then we can turn right onto the main road. Ah, finally, finally done. It got a bit boring, because we, we were here for, like, like I said, well over an hour just waiting for the forklift to arrive. So, yeah, not good. Right, let's get out of here without breaking anything. There are cones in the road. We are... Okay, we were going to run over one cone, I think. No, we... Oh, we just missed it. <laughs> we literally just missed it by the skin of our teeth. It's pretty tight, you know. I, want, I don't know whether this is open normally, because you could easily park up in here. You can spin around that bit. You could do a night out at Windsor. No, this, this has got to be shut off, surely. I'm sure I saw gates on the entrances. We'll, we'll find out if there's one on this exit. Yeah, look, there's loads of room to like, turn around and stuff. That's got to be like a proper car park. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so look, there's a gate. So I would imagine that this is normally shut off and that you couldn't just come in here. they got a metal gate here, look. So yeah, there's no way, uh, there's no way these will be open. Well, this is gonna be a bit hard to get out of. It's quite busy on the road. Nothing coming on the left after this white van. Oh, we might be able to go. Wait for this third car to go. One, two, three, let's get out of here. There's a bus coming on the left, but got loads of time. Lovely! That was alright, wasn't it? Nice and easy to get out of in the end. I thought that was going to be a bit more difficult. I really did. So yeah, we are now leaving Windsor. I will just do a little bit of recording. You might see the castle on the way out. Apparently that fault lift um, drove all the way down here. Apparently. I didn't see another lorry or anything like that. There were rumours of it being loaded up on a lorry. But I haven't seen another lorry, so... I don't think that's the case. I think it literally did drive here. It's an on-road forklift. 
Uh, that's the entrance. Yeah, look, there's another gate. So this is this is obviously normally shut off. So not a potential place to park of an evening. That would be very that would be very cozy, very good place to stay. Ah, the castle. I see the castle. Can you see the castle? The castle is there. Behind the trees. <laughs> I promise you it's there. There's the castle. It's a good shot of the castle. I don't know whether you're going to get that on the GoPro. That is the castle. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> I can now include the, the castle in the thumbnail <laughs> and say that we, we went to Windsor Castle. Because <laughs> you've seen Windsor Castle. Well, I've, I've definitely seen Windsor Castle. Whether you can see it or not, I don't know, but it is there. Windsor Castle is there. Yes. Anyway. So yes, that is, gonna put the window up, that is gonna be the end of today's video. I wasn't actually gonna be recording today. Is that a submarine? Like a yellow submarine. Uh, I wasn't going to record today, um, but because we're going to Windsor, I thought that makes, makes for a relatively interesting video, potentially. Let's record it, let's see what we get up to. Yeah, actually, it was quite interesting. Different place, I've not delivered to that place before, I don't think, so. Yes, 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 yes. So, thank you very much for watching my video. Do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.